Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Today we will be uh, doing the mission level Blade Level Basics and exploring 15% of Primordia, which will be my fun. Now from what I understand, this one is this one is given. Nope. Good. Glad you didn't prepare. <laughs> As after all, okay. Continue to clear missions. That level will slowly go up. You think you can? This is what I'm doing. Okay. Top level is ten. That is there for unstoppable powerhouses and massive fields for those in Blade and then history race next to the pleasure and other stuff. Division points. No. No. All right. What do? Yes, eight divisions. Yes, I know that. Tasks, performance, division, what's the mission? Uh, fame, armor, glory, not to mention taste. Ah, uh, food, yay. For sure. Listen to her explain everything. Okay. Whoa, wait. We have reached level two. Hollow figure. Hollow. Yeah, holo. Hollow figure. Projector added. Cool. Cool. Customize the blade bear. That's nice. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Yes. There are these three field skills. Mechanical, biological, archaeological. This is where we get taught how to upgrade that. Uh, this with this thing. A little cheap. Was. Okay. Go. Okay. Which skill? Uh, now, this is where we get to choose which skill. I honestly think mechanical is, is good starting off because you can install probes and stuff. Those divisions Keep it up. at level 3. And that's it. I will talk to you again. Let's, and now, Christy has another mission for us, but we're not going to take that at the moment. Right now, we've gotten two out of the three completed. Now all we have to do is explode 15% 15, 15 of Primordia. Now that we have level two mechanical, we should be able to go to um, this one place that we tried to go to before. Um, let's see. We have 13%... Just need to, like a little bit, a little. It's like thirteen point three nine percent completed, or surveyed. So we need to get this one last one, and then we will be good. Let's head back here. Hopefully, hopefully this will put us over the top, and I don't have to go find another one. Okay, fine. I see how it is. Game. Let's find another one then. Let's 
I'm gonna button mash this really hard. Okay, we're fine then. Come on. There we go. 15% completed. And now, before we do anything, 
What's this place? This seems much more green than... Oh my god! I just got a notification of something on... Like, oh, that scared me so bad. That scared me really bad. What's this place? Region discovered. Noctum. This is another region of the thing. Let's head back to the thing. Blade Barracks. Let's start this thing. We have met all the requirements so far. Let's get this thing started. Ah, and my gamepad is almost out of battery, so... We're gonna need to wrap up this episode in a little, in a little bit. Not too bad. We should be fine. We should really be fine. There it is. There we go. Check. Yes. There we go. Chapter 8. The Ganglion Menace. Speaking of that they can eat. Tatsu wonder if Tatsu is too cute, too adorable. Oh, yeah? As leader of Blade Team, Tatsu needs cool and tough image. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Is Lily even listening to Tatsu? What? Sure I am. Hey, what if you got a tan? A little color could do wonders for your image. In fact, I've got the perfect lotion for you. I'll even help you apply it. Well, that's a... Okay, if Lily insists. Wow, thank you, thank you, Lily. Tanning oil smells so sweet. And a bit sticky. Tanning oil? That's just plain old honey. It's the crucial step for a perfect chicken saute. The honey marinade. Delicious. Lucky thing I happen to be in the neighborhood. You say that every time, Commander, but you always arrive as we're setting the table. Oh, you don't say. Hmm. All right, listen up. We found something in Noctilum thanks to Frontier Man. That's northwest of here, Rook. Looks like a piece of the light bulb. That's great news. Damn right. Look at this. Oh, friends mean microwoods. Is that what the Nopon call it? We didn't have names for anything here, so we've been using Noctilum for that whole region. <laughs> well, that's a silly name. And microwoods isn't it? <clears throat> Moving on. According to the Pathfinder's report, there's a large number of indigens in the area, but thankfully no sign of any intelligent life form. No, no, that's wrong. Nobon visit Nitro Woods all the time. Yeah, well, like I said, no intelligent life forms have been reported, but it never hurts to be cautious. Mm, friends patronize Tatsu. Nopon proud and brave people with rich history, you know. Pipe down, small fry. I'll make that nickname come true. <laughs> we'll have you check in with Lao's team first. They're already on assignment installing probes in the area. We don't have a fix on the light bulb 
Now, now it's time to visit Noctum. Luckily, <clears throat> uh, we may or may not have just made a skip travel point there. <laughs> See, I had a reason for going out that far, right? It's not that I just found everything wrong and nothing would work and that everything was level three. I guess I just got lucky. <laughs> no, that's fine. There we go. Here we go. Here we are. Look at the Hey, look who it is. Wow, it's been a while. It has. Are you going to introduce me to your friends? With Danny and Boris. These are my new team members. As for Danny and Boris, they had a bad run in with the powerful image. They didn't make it. I see. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I hadn't heard. It's okay. What's up with this onion thing? Are you using it for rations or something? It's Tatsu, not onion or ration. Tatsu is no pun. Brave and distinguished people with long history on Mira. <laughs> it talks. Where'd you find this thing? Rescued him. He was about to become lunch for some crone, these hostile Xenos we ran into. He's agreed to serve as our guide here. Wow. Okay. And you? What's your story? Are you really as young as you look? Sure am. Thirteen years old inside and out. I'm Linley Koo. Well, hello, Linley Koo. You must be something to be able to make Elmer seem at thirteen. All right. What about you? I'm Lao Huang. I head up Pathfinder Team Belisardo. Good to meet you. We've got an interesting crew here. But they seem capable enough. I chose them personally. I figured. So, I heard Nelson's whole team got wiped out by some nasty new Xenos. Is that true? Yeah, those crone I mentioned. They're not sure if they're the ones that destroyed Earth. But their tech certainly seemed advanced enough. Really? We better watch our backs. By the way, we picked up a life hold signal in the direction of Noctilum. Have you or your crew come across anything? Where? Around here? I take it the answer is no. Yeah, it's the first I've heard of it. We bumped into another team and they didn't mention it either. I see. All right. We were hoping your team might have a lead or some more info, but no such luck, huh? Well, thanks anyway. We should go. Hey, hold up, hold up. Mind if I tag along? But your assignment? We're more or less done here. We just need to report back. Well, until you do, you're not done here. Don't give me a break, Elma. 
The rest of my crew can handle the paperwork. Sorry about that last part of the cutscene. I pressed the button. So it looks like Lau is becoming a part of our team. You wanna come back so part of the team? Sure. Ain't so bad. So Doug, you're 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 bye. Anyway, so I think that's gonna end it off for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next time we'll be Exploring Noctilums, or just explore Noctilum, and hopefully find some of the life hold. See you guys then.